coming. Yeah, he's coming. I can't see if he has anything in his hands or not. Explorers, we just gotta jump right into this. I just landed in Italy in Milan. I'm in Europe, of course. First time ever doing an abandoned road trip just in Europe. Like, I've been to Europe before, but we weren't really doing abandoned stuff. This is just an abandoned road trip only. We're gonna have like 20 abandoned videos coming. It's gonna be insane. I'm with Steve. I'm with Brock the World right now. Yo, it's your voice. It's more with Steve, but Steve Ronan now. But it's all good. I don't know what this guy's doing. He says he left the crew, but he's still here with me. But nah, nah. He invited me here, though. Exploring crew all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're all exploring crew, though, no matter what. But like I said, we're here. We're at this abandoned theme park right now. I'm on no sleep. Time zone changes. It's going down. Let's do this. Five euros or ten euros. Looks like a little gift shop. We had poker roulette and some sort of like BB gun shooting rifle range. It's like when you shoot the little puppets or the laser and it would like move the target after. <sighs> this is a trash can. Here's some history on the park. It opened up in 1960 but closed in 2002 when police actually came and seized the place. Um, they were complaining about cleanness and safety issues. So after that happened, the city ended up getting into some trouble with the owner of this place as well, with several lawsuits with um, several parents um, and families. So that ended up just not going too well. Um, they tried selling the place but no one wanted to buy it. And this is the way it is now. We got a little spider web right here. I gotta go under it. Oh god. Hmm, I think this was bumper cars. Yeah, I definitely think this was bumper cars. But they removed all the bumper cars. I think they were sold. Looks like an old Wild Wild West building. Saloon it says. Another game. Targets are right there. I think the prizes were right there too. Bullseye. It seems there was a merry-go-round right here. There's a crane machine in the back. But here's what I noticed about this theme park. It wasn't like Six Flags or Disney World or anything when you pay once and then you get to go ride all the rides. It was um, you ride per how many times you pay. There's the sign to prove it. I never liked those kind of theme parks. Over here we came across this small little caterpillar train. Look at it, it's going through the apple. Let's go up front. We gotta see what it looks like. He's a freaky train, huh? With his big eyes. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm just going through the woods. Nature took this place over. I think this could be a food stand. I can't make out what that says. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hot dog and hamburgers. And a half airplane ride. <laughs> So right here where this hut was, this was where the mare ground was. The building we were in before that was like sort of similar to a mare ground, but it was like a, a circular, like you would sit inside these little cars and it would turn. Very similar to a mare ground, but this is where the actual mare ground was. Actually, here's what's left of the mare ground. There's the red and white tarp for it. We're now approaching this very unstable roller coaster. Now this is cool. You're cool. How many carts were there? There's a lot of carts. It looks like they went around individually. 
each one's color different. Video game Star World, it says. We think it might have been an old arcade. First place is now done. Wasn't too much there, but we definitely had to come in and document any sort of abandoned theme park. Now we're heading to um, an abandoned, uh, pretty much a fabric factory. I think these walls are supposed to keep people out. This place looks massive already. Now with all the trees out the way, you can see how big this place is. Damn. Yeah. Go so far down, what the heck? They took way till we get over the corner there. There's other people here, but I think they're just explorers. They sound like just kids. Dude, check out the vines. Video boy fare foto. Non farmi il foto, per favore. No? Per favore il foto. Okay. Oh, video fare foto. Sì, sì. What is that? I don't know what this guy is trying to do. I don't know if he wants our money or something, but he's all there talking about money and trying to do something. I'm just like, yeah, screw it, man. We're trying to film. Walking out of the room I just showed you into this one right next door. It's even huger. With tons of vines just on the walls, hanging, dangling. There's a guy down there. He's seen us, stopped here, and just drove away. Wow. They're old lockers. I think that's their name in it? Oh no, it's just like some sort of tape. Oh, that's the company name. That's the company of this, uh, I guess, factory. I'll stop. Yep. Looks like people are chilling here. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They're all chilling here. Everything out of this whole factory has been removed. So it's just the structure, nature, and random other people here. Wow, this one's collapsed. This must have somehow connected over there. I think any time this whole place could collapse. Looks like there was a fire above. Here's where all the generators were. Check this, these are where the valves and meters were. For the generators to be red. What I find more cool about that and the generators is the flooring. I don't know why, but I like the flooring. It's like intact. These barrels have dangerous like waste and chemicals. Look at that, you can see the sign. Look at the skull. We found some dangerous waste at the moment. At the moment, dangerous waste. I can smell it. I don't even want to breathe it in. 
Everything is pretty much the same here. So we're just heading out now. I mean, the place is great for photos and it is still cool to see because this is probably the most biggest factory that's abandoned in the world. I'm just guessing, but it is so massive that I really think it is. Uh, we're just trying to find a different way out instead of the same way because we don't want to encounter those people again because there's a bit more than before and they're all like, I don't know, man. They all literally seem like they're up to no good. I feel like we're going to jump if we go over there. So we're finding another way out just to be safe. Out at the other end of the building. You think there's, there's a way out of there? If we just yeah, I, I think so. There's a way out. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's, let's go. go. Hold on there. Yeah. Watch out, boys. That's where uh, John Tarantula is. Kind of like yeah. Jeez. Well, we're almost out. Now we just need to find a staircase down and we're free. If only there was like a staircase, guys. Oh, right here, right here. <laughs> we're free. He's coming. Yeah, he's coming. Oh, he's coming right now. He's coming right now. There's a different guy? I can't see if he has anything in his hands or not. My camera's looking back for us. Let's just get out of here. Yeah, let's just go. How close is the charge to you? He's literally right behind us. <laughs> Explorers, that was legit creepy. Like, you seen how we were going through the dark alleyways and like that? I, literally, like, I was vlogging as we went. Like, as soon as I showed you guys the dark alleyways, we were walking through it. And as soon as I seen the stairway went down, there wasn't no cut like five minutes later or ten minutes later. No, it was as soon as we get down, all of a sudden he's calling us right where we were. He was tracking us down the whole time. It's pretty weird. And then he's like, amigo, amigo. He wanted us to go to um, wherever his boys are so he can just jump us. Crazy. But we made it out. It's all part of the game, man. You, there's no rules when you go exploring. Anything could happen. Just be smart. Ugh. We got a hotel here in this town called Vercelli. How's that? For, uh, see, it took me like three times to say that, to be honest. <laughs> but it's so cool being here in Italy. Look at this. The buildings. All right, explorers, I'm back and I'm going to bed now. I am super tired. This vlog is vlog has been probably the most unenergetic vlog I've ever done on YouTube because I've just been so tired. But I had to push throughout the whole day. Tomorrow we are hitting an asylum, a mansion, and maybe even another asylum. It's crazy. We're hitting so many abandoned places up in Europe. Stay tuned. Keep watching. Just go out there, explore, and check out the merch. Peace. Oh, oh my head. Yeah. <laughs>